a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Binary Option A binary option is a financial option in which the payoff is either some fixed monetary amount or nothing at all. The two main types of binary options are the cash or nothing binary option and the asset or nothing binary option. The former pays some fixed amount of cash if the option expires in the money while the latter pays the value of the underlying security. They are also called all or nothing options, digital options, and fixed return options. While binary options may be used in theoretical asset pricing, they are prone to fraud in their applications and hence banned by regulators in many jurisdictions as a form of gambling. Many binary option outlets have been exposed as fraudulent. The US FBI is investigating binary option scams throughout the world, and the Israeli police has tied the industry to criminal syndicates. The FBI estimates that the scammers steal $10 billion annually worldwide. The use of the names of famous and respectable people such as Richard Branson to encourage people to buy fake investments, is frequent and increasing. Articles published in the Times of Israel newspaper explain the fraud in detail. Using the experience of former insiders such as a job seeker recruited by a fake binary options broker, who was told to leave his conscience at the door. Following an investigation by the Times of Israel, Israel's cabinet approved a ban on sale of binary options in June 2017 and a law banning the products was approved by the Knesset in October 2017. On January 30, 2018, Facebook banned advertisements for binary options trading as well as for cryptocurrencies and initial coin offerings. Function Binary options are based on a simple yes or no proposition. Will an underlying asset be above a certain price at a certain time? Trades place wages as to whether that will or will not happen. If a customer believes the price of a commodity or currency will be above a certain price at a set time, he buys the binary option. If he believes it will be below that price, he sells the option. The price of a binary is always under $100. Investopedia described the binary options trading process in the US thus, a binary may be trading at $42.50 and $44.50 at 1 p.m. If you buy the binary option right then you will pay $44.50. If you decide to sell right then you'll sell at $42.50. Let's assume you decide to buy at $44.50. If at 1.30 p.m. the price of gold is above $1,250, your option expires, and it becomes worth $100. You make a profit of $100, $44.50, This is called being in the money. But if the price of gold is below $1,250 at 1.30 p.m. the option expires at $0. Therefore you lose the $44.50 invested. This is called being out of the money. The bid and offer fluctuates until the option expires. You can close your position at any time before expiry to lock in a profit or a reduce a loss. Every option settles at $100 or $0, $100 if the bet is correct, 0 if it is not. On non-regulated platforms, client money is not necessarily kept in a trust account, as required by government financial regulation, and transactions are not monitored by third parties in order to ensure fair play. Binary options are often considered a form of gambling rather than investment because of their negative cumulative payout and because they are advertised as requiring little or no knowledge of the markets. Gordon Pape, writing in Forbes.com in 2010, called binary options websites, gambling sites, pure and simple, and said, this sort of thing can quickly become addictive. No one, no matter how knowledgeable, can consistently predict what a stock or commodity will do within a short time frame. Pape observed that binary options are poor from a gambling standpoint as well, because of the excessive house edge. One online binary option site paid $71 for each successful $100 trade. If you lose, you get back $15. Let's say you make 1,000 trades and win 545 of them. Your profit is $38,695. But your 455 losses will cost you $38,675. In other words, you must win 54.5% of the time just to break even. 
The U.S. Commodity Futures Trading Commission warns that some binary options internet-based trading platforms may overstate the average return on investment by advertising a higher average return on investment than a customer should expect given the payout structure. Regulation and Fraud Many binary option brokers have been exposed as fraudulent operations. In those cases, there is no real brokerage. The customer is betting against the broker, who is acting as a bucket shop. Manipulation of price data to cause customers to lose is common. Withdrawals irregularly stalled or refused by such operations. If a client has good reason to expect a payment, the operator will simply stop taking their phone calls. Though binary options sometimes trade on regulated exchange, they are generally unregulated, trading on the internet, and prone to fraud. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission and Commodity Futures Trading Commission have issued a joint warning to American investors regarding unregulated binary options, and have forced a major operator, Bank to Binary, to cease operations in the United States and pay back all customer losses. In Israel, where a high concentration of such firms can be found, binary options trading was prohibited for Israeli customers in March 2016 on the grounds that it is a form of gambling and not a legitimate investment technique. On June 18, 2017, a ban on marketing binary options to customers outside of Israel was passed by the cabinet. It was approved by the Knesset in October, despite strong opposition from the binary options industry. Australia the Australian Securities and Investments Commission warned Australian investors on 13 February 2015 against Optech, an unlicensed binary option provider. The ASIC later began a focused effort to control unlicensed derivative providers, including review, websites, broker affiliates, and managed service providers related to binary option products. Canada no firms are registered in Canada to offer or sell binary options, so no binary options trading is currently allowed. Provincial regulators have proposed a complete ban on all binary options trading include a ban on online advertising for binary options trading sites, a complete ban on binary options trading for options having an expiration less than 30 days was announced on September 28, 2017. Cyprus on May 3, 2012, the Cyprus Securities and Exchange Commission announced a policy change regarding the classification of binary options as financial instruments. The effect is that binary options platforms operating in Cyprus, where many of the platforms are now based, would have to be SIRCC regulated within six months of the date of the announcement. SIRCC was the first EU MIFID member regulator to treat binary options as financial instruments. In 2013, SIRCC prevailed over the disreputable binary options brokers and communicated intensively with traders in order to prevent the risks of using unregulated financial services. On September 19, 2013, SIRCC sent out a press release warning investors against binary options broker trader XP, who was not and had never been licensed by SIRCC. On October 18, 2013, Sire CC released an investor warning about binary options broker NRG Binary and its parent company Energy Capital Limited, stating that NRG Binary was not and had never been licensed by Sire CC. Sire CC also temporarily suspended the license of the seed finance on December 19, 2013, because the potential violations referenced appeared to seriously endanger the interests of the company's customers and the proper functioning of capital markets. As described in the official issued press release, Sire CC also issued a warning against binary option broker Planet Option at the end of the year, and another warning against binary option broker Binary on January 10, 2014, pointing out that it was not regulated by the Commission, and the Commission had not received any notification by any of its counterparts in other European countries, to the effect of this firm being a regulated provider. The Cyprus regulator imposed a penalty of €15,000 against Zoom Trader. Option Bravo and Charge XP were also financially penalized. Sire CC also indicated that it had voted to reject the short option license application. In 2015, Sire CC repeatedly fined Bank to Binary for several violations, including the solicitation of U.S. clients. In 2016, 
the regulator fined Bank to Binary Limited once again for violation of its legislation. The broker has come to a settlement of €350,000. France In August 2016, France's Sapun 2 bill on transparency was announced by the Autorite des Marches financiers, seeking to outlaw all financial derivatives advertising. The AMF stated that it would ban the advertising of certain highly speculative and risky financial contracts to private individuals by electronic means. The document applies specifically to binary options and to contracts for difference and financial contracts on currencies. The French regulator is determined to cooperate with the legal authorities to have illegal websites blocked. The law also prohibits all forms of sponsorship and partnership that results in direct or indirect advertising of the financial products it covers. This ban was seen by industry watchers as having an impact on sponsored sports such as European football clubs. The Cyprus-based company 24 Option was banned from trading in France by AMF earlier in 2016. They had sponsored a well-known Irish mixed martial artist, Conor McGregor, who in turn promoted the company through social media. Israel in March 2016 binary options trading within Israel was banned by the Israel Securities Authority, on the grounds that such trading is essentially gambling and not a form of investment management. The ban was extended to overseas clients as well in October 2017. Responding to the Times of Israel's reporting, the Israeli Prime Minister's office in October 2016 condemned the industry's unscrupulous practices and called for the entire industry to be outlawed worldwide. In 2016 the Times of Israel ran several articles on binary options fraud. The Wolves of Tel Aviv, Israel's vast, amoral binary options scam exposed, revealed that the industry is a scam. A second article describes in detail how a binary options salesman fleeced clients. According to one ex-employee of a firm that employs over 1,000 people in a high-rise office building in Tel Aviv, losses are guaranteed because the dealing room at the binary options firm controls the trading platform, like the crooked ownership of a rigged casino manipulating the roulette wheel. In July 2016 the Israeli binary option firms Vault Options and Global Trader 365 were ordered by the U.S. District Court for the Northern District of Illinois to pay more than $4.5 million for unlawful off-exchange binary options trading, fraud, and registration violations. The companies were also banned permanently from operating in the United States or selling to U.S. residents. In November 2016 the Israel Securities Authority carried out a raid on the Ramat Gan offices of binary option broker Right Raider. The CEO and six other employees were charged with fraud, providing unlicensed investment advice and obstruction of justice. On May 15, 2017, Ella Ansada, the owner of Express Target Marketing, which has operated the binary options companies inside option and secured options, was arrested on suspicion of fraud, false accounting, forgery, extortion, and blackmail. The case involves a Singaporean woman who claims to have lost over $500,000 to the firm. In August 2017 Israeli police superintendent Rafi Bitten said that the binary trading industry had turned into a monster. He told the Israeli Knesset that criminal investigations had begun. In September 2017, the FBI arrested Lee Elbers, CEO of binary options trading company Ucom Communications, upon her arrival in the United States. They arrested her for wire fraud and conspiracy to commit wire fraud. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?